Welcome back guys, how fast? 719. Back at it, as usual, can't give it a break. Uh, I don't know. Don't judge me. Anyway, uh, decided to try to clean this distributor cap and everything. The distributor cap is is fried, it's cooked. Um, whoever put the cap and rotor and everything on, um, that cap, that cap was twisted a little bit. That back screw wasn't even tightened down. So the, <clears throat> the coil dent, whatever it's called, the piece that goes onto the rotor, it was actually bent and kicked over like that. So I'm gonna have to get a new cap and rotor. Wires are fine. The wires are brand new. It looks like they did a a tune-up on the motor, cap, rotor, uh, the spark plug wires and spark plugs because the spark plugs that were in it, they were they were pretty fouled. Um, but I think it's because they installed the cap on wrong, and uh, you can see I don't have video of it or nothing because I was just out tinkering. Um, you can see a lot of moisture got in there. Um, it still ran, it ran really rough, um, and uh, you can see a lot of moisture was in there. Moisture was on all the little tangs, the little tabs that go along the uh, cap that uh, the rotor hits. Um, but anyway, it was pretty bad. I sat there with a wire brush, scraping and cleaning for about, I don't know, 10 minutes, break clean. So then what I decided to do... Because I can't leave well enough alone. I decided to remove that EGR valve. Yeah. More power to cylinder number. What is that? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Number six. It's going to get all kinds of air. Anyway, it's 13 millimeter bolts. Half inch, 13 millimeter. Anyway, it was kind of a pain to get to this this one back here. I ended up using a little stubby 13 millimeter. That one was fine. Get a little bit. So the gasket seems to be okay. So I took the gasket, got a little piece of aluminium, and traced it out. So I'll go ahead and make me a block off plate. Reuse this little gasket. Got my drill bits ready. Stick it in there in the drill press yeah so anyway still have uh this crap exhaust to this white pipe to either make or not make i might just weld it and uh put it in there as kind of a test pipe <laughs> um but then at the same time i don't want to take it to the muffler shop so they can see my hacked up welding um but yeah because as you can see you know i didn't cut this straight here it's tacked um but anyway so i'll probably just load it on a trailer take it to the mufalu shop and tell them to weld me up some pot but anyway let's get to it i'm gonna go ahead and drill this out You'll either see it or you won't. Let's see if I can set you up somewhere roughly here. Is this even on? Oh, I'm not even plugged in. Oh, oh. Just like that. This destroyed an eight hundred dollar camera. Is it on? It is on. On like a donkey schlong. Oh, jeez. Anyway. This thing is not level, but I don't really care. Slide that up. Put her in. Oh, the wrong way. Let's see. Get 
reaction and seeing what I'm seeing more than the likely not. But I don't care. Alright. Fire in the hole. Let's see. And oh, just like that. Gotta go up a lot more. Oh. Alright. Dead nuts in the center. Oh man, I like going to a limo. Chucky. Chucky 2009. Shout out to you. Alright. That one's done. That's not gonna fit. Lower down, lower it down, lower it down, low down, jack down. Here's the bandsaw. Don't ask me why I'm talking like that. No clue. But maybe I'm just excited. Jeez. <laughs> mm. Make a lot of noise. That's what 
fabricating is all about. Or flabricating, whatever you want to call it. Man, I hope this camera doesn't fall. Alright. I have a feeling it's going to fall. Let me start this. Got it rough. It's hot. Oh, shoot, the camera definitely fell. Let me throw a glove on. Oh God! Back in action. Don't try this. Oh, Don't try this at home. Try it at my house.
Okay. Bada bing bada boom, EGR block off plate. So, let's throw this beast in. This beast is from the Eustace. That was real time, guys. Real live time. Time square times three. All right, I'm gonna put this gasket back in the way it was. Which is like show. Yeah, and then I think this thing goes in like this, and it's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Bada bing, and the nuts. Bada boom. Uh oh, uh oh, you know what we got? It's a failure to communicate. Yeehaw. All right, let's run those things down with a little wrench, a little 13, and, and run it. Trying to, trying to do this real time, so taking it off took probably another five minutes. Um, so, as you saw, I made it in I don't know, 17, 16, 15 minutes. Um, I could probably do this a little quicker if I had two hams. But I don't have two hams, they're too expensive. Or a tripod. A tripod would be cool. If I only had one or two or three of those. Okay. Tight that down. This one's almost hot. And then I'll give my other Yankee Doodle dandy. Chingly. This is disconnected now. Tuck, tuck her down in there. Don't forget to put your. Oh, your what that crap's that called? Vacuum line. And just like that. EGR delete. Extremely gross and retarded. That's what this is. Extremely gross, retarded. Okay. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for the video. For the vidge. I'm done. Let's take this funky monkey back on. Oh, in its spot. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's all there is to it guys. Delete your EGR on your TBI. TBI. Ooh, focus. Oh well. Delete your EGR on your TBI. Everybody should do it. So that's it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna clean my camera. Make sure you guys subscribe for Project Crack Pipe. 
think it's Project Crack Pipe because I think I'm on crack working on it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, do what you guys do. See you guys on the next video. Peace.